this is part 3 of payroll management software in this video we'll discuss how to update and delete user details from user table okay for that uh, first if in data grid view if i double click or uh, just click uh, that means mouse double click in data grid view that particular row value should load into this uh, text boxes after that we can update or delete the record okay uh, yeah first data grid view go to properties here we have selection mode by default row header select change this to full row select okay first we have to write code for mouse double click event for this data grid view here mouse double click this one double click here um text name dot text equal data grid view one dot selected rows dot selected row index will be zero dot cells uh, here uh, dg name we have to mention the column name within a double quote dot value dot to string okay save this and we will check it now start the application login go to user register screen if i double click this uh, second record here that name is displaying here like that uh, i have to write code for uh, remaining text boxes Okay, I have written code for remaining text boxes um, here uh, button save enabled false button update and delete uh, button will be enabled true okay let's check this double click this second or third record now we have name username email date of birth role and address um, except a password here in data grid view we are not displaying the password that's why here we don't have the password okay now we can update the record or delete the record uh, in update operation we can't update this username uh, based on username condition we are updating other columns in the table okay first uh, we will do update operation for this user register screen Yeah, double click this update button for um, every update and delete operation first we have to ask from the user um, using this dialog box here yeah, dialog result it object will be dialog result here we are showing the message are you sure want to update because it will update the data in the database um, that's why first we have to confirm from the user if dialog result yes means we will do the update operation okay here connection already we uh, created connection object here okay that's why we are using directly for uh, update and insert operation we have to call the method data send inside that we have to pass sql query for update operation so here right click this many role project new query inside that design query editor here select table click add then close here right click change type to update okay here we can update name email password role date of birth and address okay copy this here paste here make this simple line single line Your name will be text box name text name dot text and then email will be text email dot text
here uh, we can't update the password in change password screen we can update okay so that's why i removed that then roll roll dot text and then date of birth dtp dot value dot to string dot to string inside that within double quote month day and then year finally we have address your text address dot text okay after updating the record we have to show the updated message um, that is record updated successfully like that here uh, we are showing the message updated or updated successfully then message uh, title will be message then here we have two buttons message box box sorry only one button okay message box icon will be information okay after updating the record we have to show the updated record in data grid view for that um, call the load data function um, finally here um, button update and the button delete will be enabled false button so I just copy here button save button will be true these two false okay save this uh, in var condition here we are updating the record um, name, email, role, date of birth and address. In var condition we have to mention the username. So use var condition var username equals text um, username dot text. Okay. Now it will work fine. Okay. Save this and start the application now click login user register here yeah, double click this um, I change this name as Suresh Kumar click this update button it's asking are you sure you want to update this record click S yes. it's updated successfully then oh here we have one mistake um, Okay, uh, it's displaying three times record duplicate record also, but our record is updated successfully. What we are do is in load event, load sorry, load data function. Here we have to clear the data grid view one dot rows dot clear. Okay, now let's start the application. Click login, user register. Here double click this change this to Suresh Verma then click update now our record is updated successfully okay now we want to delete the record for that we will write code now here yeah, double click this delete button so I just copy this message dialog result I just changing the message here I are you sure you want to delete if they click s yes means we will delete the record so for that our query will be data send within the double quote delete from table name user in var condition we have to specify the username where username equals text username dot text okay after deleting the record we have to show the message i just copy and pasting here you are deleted successfully 
okay then uh, we have to load the data so copy these things here and pasting here okay delete operation code is completed now we will check this here click this um, third record double click here we have the data okay um, now click this delete button it asking are you sure you want to delete click s yes. now we have message deleted successfully data grid view is updated so user details is deleted okay guys in user register form we have uh, created a new user record and uh, we can update the user details and we can delete the user information from the table user details okay in our next uh, video we will discuss how to create a change password screen and how to how we can change the password based on condition username okay um I will ask you a favor if you are new to my channel um, please subscribe and if you are your older one please thumbs up thank you for listening this